even within the medical community, there are misconceptions regarding the use of hydroquinone, a skin lightening agent that has been used since 1939. So, on a doctor-to-doctor -doctor basis, let's clarify some key points about the status, the tolerability profile, and the proper use of hydroquinone in the treatment of hyperpigmentation, particularly in patients of color. Your pigment is a lot better. Yes. Hydroquinone has a well-established tolerability profile, and in my experience, it has done very, very well in treating patients with hyperpigmentation disorders. The FDA currently allows 2% of hydroquinone as an over-the-counter product. Products with hydroquinone have generally been a game changer for, for many of my patients with disorders of hyperpigmentation. I frequently use prescription strength 4% hydroquinone for melasma, for post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, for dark spots caused by sun, and it really is the mainstay of my treatment. Many dermatologists view 4% hydroquinone as the gold standard in treating hyperpigmentation disorders. Some side effects have been reported from the use of hydroquinone, rashes, mild inflammatory conditions, even some irritation with the 2% uh, over-the-counter uh, compounds. So I recommend to trying a test area first before initiating treatment with over an, a larger area of the face. What's most important is the application process. And some patients will say if they have two or three discoloration spots on their skin, they might use it all over. If there are isolated, localized areas of hyperpigmentation, we would want them to use the product directly on the affected areas. In many of the disorders of pigmentation, there's a risk of relapse, and these conditions are long-term. So a long-range game plan needs to be devised. First, try and clear up the dark spots. Next, try and maintain the clearance. And the way we do that is primarily using hydroquinone products in the first phase. And while maintaining the results, we may re continue to rely on hydroquinone, but at a much lower frequency, but very frequently we'll introduce other products that do not contain hydroquinone. It's very important to combine um, hydroquinone and sun protection with an SPF of 30 and higher. The two go hand in hand. Yeah, Thank you so you're much. Welcome.